Hello, today I will be doing a video on Nocturne. An insecure girl who feels inferior under her twin sister's shadow is in a constant battle to be the best piano player. Before watching this, I was under the impression that this would be a horror or suspense about a girl with the aid of a mysterious book gains control over her life and finally gets a taste of what she desires but with consequences later on this is not what the film is about and i feel two ways about it on one hand i'm glad it's not straightforward and predictable but on the other hand the horror element does overshadow what could have been a great drama on its own the book that was once owned by a student who committed suicide seems pointless and only used as a tool to illustrate the girl's mental breakdown. I guess that was the whole point, but for me, it made it seem like something grander was going to happen and we never get to that point. Regardless, the movie is entertaining and you can't help but be on the side of the lead character, Juliet and resent the twin sister Vivian, even though technically Vivian never did anything malicious. You see everything from Juliet's perspective, and in ways it does seem like Vivian is mocking Juliet's inferiority complex. This is the most interesting part of the movie because it had a beginning, middle, and end. You get closure from it and a clear understanding of both characters and by the end of the movie, I was still rooting for Juliet. I also like the drama involving Juliet and her old teacher. I also would have liked more glimpses of her family life and everything that led up to this. In my opinion, I think there's way too much material here for a movie, and it should have been a miniseries without any horror element. With the horror, it makes it seem as though Juliet may become an axe murderer and get rid of anyone that gets in her way. And when that doesn't happen, it could be a letdown to some people. And I'm not gonna lie, it was for me. Like, that's kind of what I wanted from this. And this ended up reminding me of Monsterland on Hulu. Using horror to express human behavior, but not actually being a horror movie. And I give this a 6 out of 10. It's very entertaining, but I wanted something a little different, or I wanted more things to be explored. By the way, going back to the Vivian character, she reminds me of Lila from Hey Arnold. Lila also was a character that technically never did anything wrong but for some reason you wanted to punch her in the face for being incredibly annoying and being oh so perfect at everything. <laughs> Just a side note. 